Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 1010, pairs of songs with total durations divisible by 60. Before we read the question prompt, I just want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. I have the goal of making it to 1000 subscribers by the end of May, and I need your help to get there. If you're enjoying these videos and getting value out of them, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me a lot, and it's going to help me make more videos in the future. That being said, let's read the question prompt. You are given a list of songs where the ith song has a duration of time of i seconds. Return the number of pairs of songs for which their total duration in seconds is divisible by 60. Formally, we want the number of indices i and j such that i less than j with time i plus time j uh, modulo 60 equals to 0. Let's look at an example. If we were given time equals 30, 20, 150, 140, what should we return? 3. But how do they get that? Well, we can see that the first pair is going to be 30 plus 150. Why is that? Because if we add these two, we get 180, which when divided uh, modulo by 60 is going to give us 0. So that's one answer. What's another one? Well, we can see that 40 plus 20 is going to give us what? Uh, 60, which obviously is you know, modulo 60 is going to be 0. What's another one? Well, we have 20 plus 100. So we're going to get 120, which modulo 60 is going to equal 0. So that's where we get our three solutions from. So how do we actually solve this problem? Because it's quite simple conceptually, but how do we actually solve it? Well, let's think about it. <clears throat> what we want to do is there's really two cases here. Either a song's length is directly going to be divisible by 60, or we're going to have some sort of remainder, and we're going to have to find another song whose length is going to add with our current song's length, and then we're going to get that modulo 60. So for example, if a song's length was 60 off the bat, then we could just add you know, 1 for every other pair that is like directly 60. So it could be like 60, 180, um, 60, 120, 180, what is this, 240, and on and on and on, right? So for each song that we have, so we'll keep a track of how many are already divisible by 60 just off the bat, then we can just add one for every one here to our result, because we compare 60 with 120, 60 with 180, 60 with 240, and on and on and on. So those will obviously become you know pairs. But what about songs that aren't immediately divisible by 60? So for example, like 30 plus 150. So we can see if we do 30, modulo 60, this is going to equal to 30. So that means when we encounter another song, so let's say 150, 150 modulo 60 is also going to be 30. So that means for 150 to have, you know, a pair that would make it uh, divisible by 60 in the modulo, what we would need is a song whose remainder is also 30. So that way, when we add them and take the modulo, they will add up to a multiple of 60, which obviously modulo 60 is going to be zero. So that's the approach that we want to take. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use a dictionary to keep track of our remainders. Uh, this is a very common pattern that we see on uh, leak code for some of these questions. So what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to keep track. Oops, let me just get my pencil here. So we're going to keep track of the number of pairs we have. And we're going to say initially it's going to be equal to zero. And we're going to keep a dictionary. Um, which is going to keep track of you know those remainders. So we're going to iterate through our times from left to right, and we're going to say, okay, let's process the thirty. Is thirty you know off the bat divisible by sixty evenly, right? It's not, right? Because we get a thirty here, so that means that we can't do anything yet because it's not immediately um, divisible by sixty. So we need to actually process this value and look for a remainder. So what we need to do now is we're going to look into our dictionary whether or not we have something that would make it, um, you know, we can add to it that would make it divisible by 60. So what we're going to look is we're going to say, OK, is there in our dictionary a value? So what would 30 need added it to it to get to, um, you know, to, six, uh, to a multiple of 60, right? We would need basically 30 or we would need 90 or we would need 120. Uh, so not 120, uh, 150. And if we think about it, realistically, if we do just everything modulo, we can simplify it down. Because these values, if we take modulo of all of them, they're all going to equal to 30 here. 
So we can think about this as being, okay, what we're looking for in our dictionary is whether or not we have a key in there that is equal to 60 minus whatever the length is of our song, length modulo 60. So let's think about this, right? Our current length is 30. So this would be 30 modulo 60. So this part, so we have 60 minus this. So we'd have 60 minus 30 equals 30, right? So do we have a song whose length modulo 60 is 30? Because that means that we could add it to our 30 and get a multiple of 60. And at the moment we don't, because this is the first element we've processed. So that means that we simply just need to populate our dictionary and we're gonna populate it with you know, the length, and I apologize for any sirens in the background, I don't know what's going on, uh, length modulo 30, uh, 60, sorry. So we length modulo 60, and we'll populate our dictionary with that. So we have one key uh, with a 30 here, and there's one count for it. Okay, so now we move on to the next one, 20. So is 20 immediately divisible by 60? No, it's not, obviously. So what we need to check now is, is there a value, 20, um, in our dictionary that is equal to 60 minus 20 modulo 60. So what is this value? This is 20. So is there any value in our dictionary that equals to 40? Well, there's only a 30, so no. So that means we need to populate our dictionary with whatever 20 modulo 60 is, which is just 20. So we go into our dictionary and we're gonna say 20 and we have a count of one. Okay, we get to 150 now, and 150 is not immediately divisible by 60, so we need to look into our dictionary again. So we're going to say, okay, is there a value in our dictionary that is equal to 60 minus 150 modulo 60? So 60 minus, what is this value? It's going to be 30. So do we have a 30 in our dictionary? And we do. So that means that we can increment our pairs by 1. So now pairs will become 1, and now we need to basically add to you know, whatever 150 modulo 60 in our dictionary is, because now we have another pair that satisfies that. So we can say that there are two pairs uh, that have, you know, their, their song length modulo 60 equal to 30. Now we get to the next value, this 100. And, you know, this is no longer valid. So we're going to say, okay, do we have something in our dictionary that is equal to, let's see, 60 minus 100 modulo 60? So 60 minus, what is this value? It's going to be 40. So 60 minus 40 equals 20. Do we have any 20s in our dictionary? We do, cool. So we can increment pairs again, and then we can update our dictionary with what is 100 modulo 60. So now this is going to be equal to 40, right? So what we wanna do now is put that 40 in there. So we say, do we have a 40? We put that in there. And now we get on to our last element. So 40 is not immediately divisible by 60, so we need to go through the same process we did before. So we're gonna say, okay, do we have a 60 minus 40 modulo 60? So what is this value? It's gonna be 40. So do we have a 60 minus 40 equals to 20? We do, we have one of them. So that means that we can increment our pairs. And now we need to put whatever 40 modulo 60 is which is just gonna be 40, so we can increment this. And we're actually at the end of our array now, so we can simply just return pairs, which is three. So that's the algorithm that we wanna use. Just to recap, what we wanna do is iterate through our times from left to right, and we're gonna check, is the time immediately divisible by 60? If it is, then we can just add to our pairs the number of other um, times that are immediately divisible by 60. So for example, if we had any other 60s, 120s, 180 and on and on to basically infinity um, then we would just add uh, however many pairs there are because that's how many we could pair it up with otherwise we need to do this check of whether or not there is the value 60 minus whatever the length is uh, modulo 60 and if there's any pairs of that in the actual uh, dictionary here that we maintain then we're going to add however many pairs and at the end we need to add to our you know, duration dictionary, basically the length, so song length modulo 60, and we're going to add to that key one, uh, one count. So that's what we want to do. Um, a little bit more complicated to explain, but once you see the code, it's super simple, really straightforward. I think it's only like 10 lines of code. So let's go to the code editor and write this one out. And it's really not that complex. So I'll see you in the editor. 
we are back in the editor and it's time to write the code. So remember that we need to return the number of pairs. So let's define a variable for that. So we'll say pairs equals zero. And we're going to need a dictionary to basically keep track of our remainders. So that way we can do our operations. So we're going to say duration dictionary. And we're going to say collections dot default dict. And we're going to just initialize it with an int. Uh, so basically, if a key is in there, it'll just get initialized, initialized to a count of zero. And that way we can easily just increment counts without having to check whether or not a key is in there. Uh, obviously, if you're not using Python, you won't have default dictionary. You'll just have to use a standard you know, dictionary or map, whatever your language uses, and then just check whether or not a key exists. If it does, you can increment the count. If it doesn't, then you have to put it in there. Uh, and then increment the count. So this is just some syntactic sugar. Anyway, let's go through our time uh, lengths, our song lengths from left to right. So we'll say for song length, song length in time. We're going to say, okay, remember that we need to check whether or not the song length itself is a multiple of 60. So we're going to say if, if not, uh, so song length modulo 60. So remember that if it's a multiple of 60 already, and then you do modulo 60, this result will be zero. So obviously, if not zero, then you know, it's going to evaluate to true. So in this case, we just need to say pairs is going to be equal to the amount of basically zero um, remainders that we have, right? Because anything that's a multiple of 60 when you do modulo 60 is always going to be zero. So 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360, and on and on and on. Those are all when modulo 60 going to have a, um, uh, a remainder of zero. So that's where this zero comes from. Now what we need to do is if we don't have something that's immediately divisible by 60, we need to check whether or not there's another pair whose modulo would also sum up to 160 if we added the current element to it. So we're going to say pairs plus equal to the number of elements. So duration dict of 60 minus whatever the song length is modulo 60. So that is going to be the pairs that we add there. And then at the end, we need to increment the count for whatever our current song length modulo 60 is um, in our dictionary. So we're going to say duration dict of Let's see, song length, song length, modulo 60. And we're going to increment it by one. And at the end, we just need to return the number of pairs we have. And we are done. So let's submit this. And cool, it works. What is the time and space complexity? Well, the time complexity is going to be big O of n, where n is the number of songs in our time list here. And why is it big O of n? Because all we're doing is simply going from left to right over song and processing each song individually. And that's why it's big O of n. What is the space? Now, you might think that the space is also big O of n, but I want to challenge that and actually tell you that it's big O of 1. And let's think about this. Why is it big O of 1? Well, in our duration dictionary, all we're storing is values um, of song lengths modulo 60. Now. If you know anything about modulo, the only range that it can take, you know, modulo 60 is going to be values between 0 and I believe 59, right? We can't have something modulo 60 and then get 60, right? It's either going to be all the values are going to be between 0 and 59. So, you know, those are going to be the cases where basically, you know, you have all the values between 1, uh, 0, and 59, right? Or 0 and 60. So since we know exactly what values up front we're actually storing, we can count this as big O of 1 because it's technically a constant space allocation. It does not depend on the number of elements in time. The amount of keys in our duration dictionary at a maximum will always be 60 in this case because we're working with you know divisible by 60. So because we know what the space requirements are ahead of time and it's a fixed number, it can maximum be 60. This is technically a constant space allocation. It doesn't depend on our input here. It's always going to be between 0 and 59 in terms of the key values. So that's the reason why this is actually a constant space solution. So a little bit to think about there, you know, you see this a lot. For example, if you have problems where, you know, your dictionary keys are actually the alphabet letters, uh, you may think, oh, it's big O of n. Well, technically, it's big O of 1 because you only have 26 characters and you know that up front. So it's a constant space. So one of these little tricky ones. Um, so yeah, good to know. Anyway, 
that's how you solve this problem. Not a really complex one. As you can see, it's you know only like 15 lines here, nothing crazy. Uh, quite simple, quite straightforward. I think it is a little bit tricky to kind of figure out this like modulo bit and then you know figuring out how to actually get the pairs. Um, but once you have that down, it's quite simple. And this is one that you can probably easy, easily remember if you see it again in an interview. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel. And if there's any videos or topics that you'd like me to make um, videos on, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Just let me know what you wanna see and I will um, do my best to get back to you. So otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, bye.